This week on The Best of the West. We're in Arizona hunting a giant elk with the Arizona Ground Pounders. You won't want to miss this action, so keep it right here. season here in Arizona. We just went and shot the 28 Nosler. Shot it out to a thousand yards. Everything looked good. And we're just here glassing for bulls. Um, we've seen some good bulls in this country here, but we're just checking to see if anything new rolled in for the day. Yeah, I'm Waylon Pettit. I'm the uh, marketing specialist for uh, Arizona Ground Pounders Outfitters. We're a family run business. Uh, we do a really good job with our hunts. We do a lot of quality type hunts. We don't do too many quantity hunts. Uh, we specialize units 22 and 23 for coos deer, elk, lions, and bears. One of the key reasons why we're successful in the field too is because Cash and Steel are houndsmen. They're lion hunters. They have been for many years. So they learn country different than other people do. When you go to glass in a place, you see it from the top or you see it from the bottom, but you don't see actually how the animals travel through the country. So that's a big difference in, in how we find success. A lot of times Cash and Steel will go lion hunt a place. Me and Levi will go back through, re-glass that same area, figure out where the animals are based off of what they told us, where the sign was, where the lions traveled. Because lions hunt where we hunt. They hunt the deer that we hunt, they hunt the elk that we hunt. So if we can find the lions like Cash and Steel do, we find success by glassing. I'm Steel Armstrong. I'm a co-owner of Arizona Ground Pounders Outfitters. I'd say what separates us from most outfits is uh, we, we, we usually have a uh, three to four guides per client you know and we'll just we just hunt for that one guy and we can get on different points get different angles of the country and we we know the areas that the bulls are hanging in you know and we know the bulls that we're going to be hunting 98 percent of the time you know we know what bull we want to kill and we always we always try to kill the most mature big bull we we have we know about you know for don't matter what client it is you know that's how we do it My name's Cash Armstrong. Me and my brother run this company, Arizona Ground Pounders. Uh, we've been hunting since we've been little. This is all we know. The scouting never stops. It's an all year deal. Once we get done hunting lions, we start scouting for elk, trying to glass and set cameras and see which bulls are coming up and watch them grow. We key in on specific bulls and really watch them and learn what they're doing and try to know where they're going to be when the, they start rutting. Sometimes that can be difficult because a lot of these bulls travel 15, 20, 30 miles. So we've been using the best of the West system with the Huskamaw scopes for the last two seasons now. Um, we got our first best of the west experience last year in October on a coos deer hunt. We killed two great bucks. Uh, we killed bucks 
at yardages um, from 450 to 900 yards. The Huskamaw scopes have given us a big advantage too because it's ease of use. Our clients can get in the scope, they have a full field of view almost every time, and the turret system is simple enough for anyone to use. As soon as we get our range, we can turn our, our dial to whatever we need to do. By partnering with Best of the West, it also gives us an opportunity for people to come in and use our rifles. We know that we're shooting half minute rifles with the potential to shoot as far as we need to shoot with any client. So we know when they show up to camp, we shoot with our guns, make sure they're comfortable, and then we know we're gonna be comfortable out to a thousand yards plus. Stay tuned, because when we return, we're deep in elk country with the Ground Pounders. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, GunBroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. So we, we got out of the truck before daylight and rammed around and get, went through the saddle and got out on the edge of the bluffs. It's uh, opening morning right here. We got bulls bugling all around us. Uh, we should be able to find a good bull here if we can just get out of the timber. Thirty minutes into it, me and Waylon seen that bull at the same time, and we knew he was a shooter right when we seen him. And then he was at like a thousand twenty-eight at that point. We didn't have time to get a shot or anything. And uh, we had a uh, my brother Levi on a different point, and he got fogged in that morning. And the fog looked like it was going to set in on us, but we were just we were just low enough to stay below it. Just to the left of the left one. Oh, you see him? Along that edge. Along, along right, the edge. You could just see his antlers going through. Yeah, I see him. He went right where that. No, he went. And the kickers, the, and the kickers were like, they weren't in line. They were like that. This one side had like a tripod. Yeah, like, like a stag type bull. Yeah. And then the other one was like kickers. Yeah. That bull's going to come through that opening, I bet. He's going to come right here. He had a bunch of cows and I don't know, he split up from his cows and then he, he, we caught glimpses of him getting closer to us. Yeah, we knew that that, that bull was in the country from all our summer scouting and, and all that. And uh, that spot we were hunting, it's a little tough because uh, it's got thickets and a lot of people try hunting it from the bottom, but we wanted to get get above them and you know and get them get them coming to us instead of being behind them all morning you know and bulls come up in that thick stuff and bed you know and we just wanted to catch them going to their beds. Okay, it's a bull with big tops. Okay, where? See the first cut right here? Yeah. The first oh, I got it. Five feet. What is it? What is what is the range? 
He's coming Four towards me. Four twelve. He's coming. See, hold him. Um, I don't, I don't see the bull. But, um, okay, Daniel, he's gonna come through that. No, it's, it comes open right here. He's gonna come open. How big is he? Big enough. Give me the range for him. Here, here he comes in that opening to the left. See that light bill shining, Fred? I got him, I got him. Okay. Tell me when to shoot him. I got him. Yeah, go. What is it? What is it? Huh? I don't know, he split up from his cows and then he, he, we caught glimpses of him getting closer to us, you know, and finally he stood out in the only open spot there was, basically, and... How, give me the range for him. Here. Here he comes in that opening, to the left. See that light bill shining, Fred? Yeah, go. What is it? What is it, brother? <coughs> no, on. Three what? Go. go. Three forty. We had, uh, we had bulls screaming everywhere. We had bulls to the north. We had a couple bulls down in the meadow. Um, we had one big bull come through. We thought it was a shooter bull. Um, that bull came back through the timber and we had another bull that was screaming at him through the meadow. So the two bulls were kind of going back and forth, bugling back and forth. And then the uh, big bull came up closer. He came from a thousand yards into about 400 yards. Um, big giant bull, extra tops, a lot of mass on there. Um, Fred made a great shot on there, and that that bull died uh, down in the brush right there. We have a, we see his hind end right there. We'll go pick him up and see. It should be a good bull. Nice bull. I mean, it looks like. Well, I seen him when he came through there. You guys, when he bugled, he stopped right there. Right there yeah. Looked right up at us. Dang, I heard that yeah. hit, but I didn't see it. I yeah. couldn't see the hit, but it, it, I heard it hit him. It shook him. Yeah, he did. Yeah, like cash thought that you missed originally. <clears throat> that, uh, I saw. Okay. I don't see how he could if the gun was on. As long as the range was right. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Right. Good job. That was awesome. I can't believe how many bulls are in here, though. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, it's because the cover, and it's because of the country that they're in. It's just, they can hide. They can walk 25 feet and lay down, and you'll never see them again the rest of the day. We were just going back over some pictures of some bulls, and we saw that bull down right now, and it looks like he has a bunch of points after his third. And then we, uh, I was going back through, and we had this picture um, not too far from here two years ago. And this was the picture of the bull, and it looks really similar to what to what that bull is. We think it might be the same bull. It was a bull we nicknamed Stag Bull. His base is almost touch. It's he's a super heavy bull, awesome bull. I'm happy that we finally got a hold of him. We went one, we went one open too far, honey. 
So one of the reasons that we like to hunt the units that we hunt is because we see that the bulls are reaching an age class of 8, 9, 10, 12 years, sometimes even up to 15 year old bulls. Um, the older they get, the heavier they get, the more mass they carry, and a lot of times a bull will carry a certain size for a few years and become a mature bull and really blow up that year. We've seen bulls gain 20 to 30 inches in one year, and a lot of times it's when they get in that higher age class range. Um, some areas have that 5, 6 year old bulls where they're smaller. And, and they're still going to be a good bull. They're still going to be in the 340, 350 class bull as a younger bull, but they never get that chance to mature into a giant. And, and the units that we hunt, those bulls are having a chance to where they grow into that age class to where they can become a giant at any time. The Best of the West is brought to you by the Wild Sheep Foundation, GunBroker.com, Cryptech, Camo, The Best of the West Shooting Systems, Defiance Custom Actions, Hornady, Accurate, Deadly, Dependable, Huskama Optics, and LongRangeStore.com. Welcome back. Fred Crane just shot a bull of a lifetime with the Arizona Ground Pounders. Definitely a wall hanger. <clears throat> a great wool hanger. I'm on my 22nd year waiting for this tag. Uh, he religiously just hung right in there. But lucky enough to hook up with this outfit. Good friends and great knowledge. So we just got breaking this bull down here. Um, we've had a lot of history with this type of bull in this area. Um, we, we just love hunting this, this unit in this area because of the, of the mass and the genetics that it has. We usually have tons of mass, tons of extras on there. Um, but these bulls are so difficult to kill in these areas, it just takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And it takes these guys time just being in here all summer long pounding to see what they can do to find bulls like this. Lots of mass, giant thirds. Neat, neat bull. It's pretty neat killing a bull like this. It's a total team effort. I just want to thank all our all our help that we had all summer long, all the hard days we put in to kill this bull. We have four elk seasons. We have the early archery elk. We have the early rifle elk season which pretty much, I mean, the areas that we hunt, especially in unit 23, it's probably the best unit there is in the state for big bulls, big mature bulls. Um, the late rifle hunt, we've had great success. We've killed bulls over 400 inches with a rifle, and that's, uh, we usually average uh, uh, at least a 380 bull every year on that late rifle hunt. We just got everything packed up, uh, got all the meat loaded up into the pack. We have about a mile and a half pack, a lot of vertical pack out from where we shot the bull from through a, uh, thick thorn infested thicket so it should be pretty fun. One of the main keys to our success is that we have a, a small core group of guides and we all have the same ideas and we all have the same mindset in mind that we want to go out and kill the biggest possible animal we can for our client. Um, every guy that we have has hunted with us. They know what the expectations are of the hunters, of, of the clients of the organization, to where we know that any time that one of our guides goes with an, a client, they're gonna give themselves the best possible chance to kill a mature animal and a trophy class animal. We're considered by many to be one of the premier outfitters in Arizona for coos deer, elk hunts, uh, spot and stock bear hunts, which are basically long range hunts, and also dry ground lion hunts. Um, we uh, feel like we have one of the best pack of dogs, dry ground pack of dogs there are out there. And we can, we can run lion hunts from early September all the way to 
pretty much early May every year. We don't need snow. The only, th only time we can't really hunt a lion is if it rains. That's kind of the big difference between us and other lion guides and outfitters is that a lot of times they're waiting for snow, they're waiting for that bad weather. A lot of times we go out and catch a lion in a t-shirt or catch a lion in April um, after everyone's done hunting for the entire year. To book your hunt with the Arizona Ground Pounders, contact Waylon at 928-517-1337 or Cash at 928-978-1343.